Hello everyone, uh, this is 007 Quan Salas, but uh, before we get started, uh, thank you Glitch PhD for the uh, shout out, great Spider-Man are on, and uh, timing will start once I hit a uh, new recruit here, so three, two, one, go. All right, right off the bat, we're gonna skip uh, intro cutscenes here, and uh, we kind of get just thrown right into the action. First shooting section here, we are going to make sure to kill each enemy because a little mini game coming up. If we get shot during this, it kicks us right out and we'll have to start all over. Uh, this lock picking mini game is pretty simple and not much to the first couple ones of it. So this game is based on the COD4 engine, and that means the movement speed is actually slightly tied to the FPS, so we do have an FPS unlocker, otherwise we would be running this at about 30 frames per second, and that's, no one likes that. So I will be doing these weird strafe jumps, I have a sprint meter in the bottom left above the ammo count. And doing that just lets us keep that full for longer. Of course, the pinnacle of being a spy, shooting whoever you can see. Oh yeah, absolutely. Alright, and coming up here we're going to see the first instance of just shooting an enemy, but not killing them, to stun them so they can't really shoot at us. Alright, well, if you sprint into an enemy, you get a little quick time event, and that's not ideal. Um, the game actually introduces that in the next level here, but... Hooray. And then I'm also going to make sure to kill every enemy in this little mansion segment here. If I don't, they will be in the next one, and in addition to the ones that spawn there. There's not really too many big skips in this game. There are two in a few levels from now, but uh, everything is just kind of getting out of bounds or uh, jumping over the invisible walls. So right there, just jumping over the stairs. The and that's the end of the first. So unfortunately this game likes to start us off in like a cover position and it's very slow to get out of that so it's just as soon as we start the level I'm holding like away so I'm holding in this case down. I 
because we're the game once to introduce us to the real quick time event, but. So coming up, if I can make a little jump here, is kind of like the first unintended position that the game doesn't really th think you should be able to get into, but we can with straight jumping. There we go. It's just right over here. Oh, all right, that's the one. <laughs> you go, there's the first uh, big time save of the oh, run. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> We'll have a few more of those little time saves, hopefully. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll do this the intended way. I'll have to say that that is a first. Got some uh, Murphy's Law going on here, I think. <laughs> Mind if I read a donation? Yeah, go for it. All right. We have a $30 donation from Boochman who says, congratulations, Vinny64. Let's pump up the speed. Trying. <laughs> Alright, we'll get through this one way or another here. There we go. stun sections like that the screen goes a little gray it is actually just a little bit faster to jump through that get a little bit extra movement speed uh, this game has a timer in the top right now um, essentially you just have to get to the end of the section otherwise you just lose instantly they're pretty much never an issue A lot of the enemies do just spawn in the same location, so that's nice because they're predictable. Um, in this one, you only have to kill a certain amount to move on. Uh, I'm just waiting for this guy to open up here. And a little quick time event. Again. I want to make sure to kill both of those guys in the window because they could shoot me during this little cutscene of this bus crash in here. So, most levels do end with a mini fight, hand-to-hand -hand combat sequence, which is just the melee quick time event, but multiple of them. Um, um, this 
style of it is actually exclusive to the PC version. Uh, this game is also on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. And in that case, it is just like pressing a button or in some cases mashing. Uh, so it's actually quicker in sometimes to miss mashing a button on purpose just to get to the next one. But for this, we're just going to hit them all as quickly as possible. All right, so this is Opera House, and this is actually going to be the first attempt at being stealth through the entire uh, level here. Um, right up ahead, you can see a little camera flashing red. Um, if you usually when you get caught by the cameras, it sends in extra guards, but you can run right up to the Disable box, disable it before it calls guards. In. Our first enemy. Just uh, put on the silencer here. Beautiful. Pretty much every gun in this game you can equip a silence or two, which is completely unrealistic, but for the purposes of being stealth, we'll take it. And just running up to a camera and disabling it before it uh, can call in more enemies. There are two types of enemies in this. There's regular enemies and then the reinforcements that call in take a couple extra shots before they're actually down for good. section coming up we have a little bit of a sniping section which we will see uh, one or two more times I believe here Sniping section, all right. Uh, most of these enemies are going to be in the exact same location, so they are very predictable. Um, and we only have to kill a certain number before we complete it.
Vinny, I think I lost your voice, so I'm gonna go radio silent here for a little bit. Okay. So right here, uh, we're actually able to skip an entire fighting sequence and just jump right on top of an invisible tower and then duck underneath it. And that lets us skip right to the end of the level here. It's probably one of my favorite levels just because it's a mix between quick movement and not getting uh, seen by any guards. Uh, this level has a pretty big out of bounds uh, right here at the beginning and I'm hopefully gonna get that relatively quickly. Uh, only thing that makes this one difficult is one of those helicopters will be shooting at me while I'm trying to do it. Specifically this one. That is unfortunate there. Right. One more time here. Alright, so I'm gonna run in here to trigger the next portion of it, and hopefully, beautiful. Okay, so now I'm out of bounds, I need to be very careful because I can literally fall through the entire level, and I would just have to start all over again. Uh-oh, uh, okay. <laughs> like that, that is what I did not want to do fall right to the end of the level, and luckily, I'm just right back here, that's nice. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Good old Murphy's Law. I love it. There we go. And thankfully, none of this fire is able to touch us. All visual effects there. And because we skipped a decent chunk there, this helicopter right above me uh, should actually crash, but it doesn't, so we just have a little turret waiting for us on the ground here. There's still collision all around it, but... Here we go. Thankfully, the game does tell us exactly where the enemies are coming from. Um, there is a much bigger skip you can do to skip this section of defending everything here, but it is very difficult and you have to mm, hop on top of like, multiple very thin invisible walls. I don't think anyone has done that in an entire run yet, so... game has two walking speeds, a fast and a slow one, and for whatever reason, if you have no weapon, you get the slower moving speed, but every gun we get in this level is also the slow moving speed, which is a little unfortunate. Two more enemies coming up here, they can 
easily knock me out. There we go. And this is the down system here. This is great for knocking down helicopters, which one will be descending shortly. Good model in game. <laughs> Alright, um this is Shanty Town we call it, and it uh we don't have to fight a single enemy in this. In fact, this is probably the biggest skip throughout the entire game and that is because we can easily jump out of bounds right here at the start Whoop. got that across. that's okay there we go and now i'm out of bounds i can run directly to the end of the level i just want to be a little careful so i don't fall through the entire map again uh, this is a great level to practice that strafe jumping I mentioned earlier to keep your sprint all the way through. Um, haven't gotten that good at it yet, but we'll get there eventually. And then we just run to the end of the level, hit the end of level trigger, and fade to black make some stuff blow up if you want. So this is construction site, if uh, you guys top there. This is um, one of the only two levels. We actually don't have a gun to this entire uh, level and one more later on. But uh, just a little chase sequence here, which is actually pretty fun. And for whatever reason, after busting through this drywall, our field of view just tanks for some reason. Good design, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, you can also see here shortly the very good uh, like clipping of Bond here after I jump into this next crane. This model's just going right through it. Definitely survivable. Uh, this little white bar down at the bottom, and here's the clipping. Uh, that's the little, that's like a balance mini game, so I would just have to be holding like A and D to keep this white dot in the center, but uh, we actually have that disabled because keyboard it's super easy versus console so that kind of just levels the playing field a little bit here as a side note welcome to casino royale yes yeah this uh so this is quantum of solace but there's 15 levels in this game but Ten of them are from Casino Royale, and five of them are like Quantum of Solace. A little bit weird there for the design, but hey, if it works, we jump around, and then at the end, we go all the way back to the end of Quantum of Solace, which is kind of weird, but... Hmm. 
another sniping section about to start here. We have six enemies to kill with six bullets, so I would like to uh, do that. Then I don't have to reload. Whoop. That's three. Nice and beautiful. I have a little bit of stealth here, but we're gonna immediately get sent right into the action. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, so these are the reinforced guards. We'll be seeing them again shortly. Um, they took a couple extra hits, but that's all. So a lot of the guns in this game are actually named based off of the movie. So right now I have a CR-1911, but CR for Casino Royale. So if I ever pick up a weapon, see if you can guess what movie it's based off of there. This guy up, and we're throwing right into the action now. One more enemy down here, I think. Yes. And this, and now we're gonna pick up our best friend, the dead system again. If I don't kill that guy in this coming right here, he would just kill me and I'd fall down. So we actually have shadows disabled and what that causes a spotlight that should be like searching for me to just not appear. So I wouldn't have to wait for that to just move out of my way, which is takes quite a while. at the beginning of this we have another little skip I'm gonna come up on top of this rail and jump almost to the end of the level and I'm just gonna try to nice I did not get that in the practice room at all so, oh. so that's actually unfortunate I uh, I got the hard part and not the easy part, which was to go a little bit more forward. Alright, come on. <laughs> nope, okay. Uh, if I did get that properly, I would just be skipping this one extra fight sequence here. Okay. Oh, helicopter down. A little bit of fun for 
you don't kill it quickly, a couple enemies will spawn, and you just a little bit of an annoyance to deal with, but nothing you would be able to handle. This is the only level that doesn't have like a little intro cutscene to it. And kind of on point. Okay. <laughs> Can see if it's just stuff. Uh, so. You did just hear a camera catch me, but I'm actually in the room where enemies would spawn, and for some reason they just don't. Yes, Make sure to those guys spawn after you walk up onto the bridge there, and if you just try and go, they will knock you down. So this level is just the interior of the science center. We were up on the roof a minute ago. Um, but uh, this elevator here, we'll shortly see, will fail and we'll have to climb up here. And for some reason, I remember always having troubles with it. And even when I started running the route for this game, it gave me uh, trouble. And let's hope it uh, doesn't here. <laughs> Once we climb on the second ladder, it falls down and we have to just get up quickly. Hopefully not die. Good. <laughs> so another thing I will be trying to do in this level is just get to a spot where I can line up and kill a bunch of enemies all at once. Alright, uh, this guy has the fastest gun in the game, and we don't even get to kill anyone with it.
only hacking in real life is like that. Just disabling the camera because we're stuck in this for a little bit and it will actually call reinforcements this time. <laughs> Again, hacking, pressing a key, that would be lovely in real life, but guess not. <laughs> Oh, I haven't gotten any extra enemies called in. That's always a lovely thing to have. <laughs> Download complete. Good work, Bond. We're going to upload a data packet to your phone as soon as it's ready. Bond, the data package is on your phone. You'll need to find the main terminal and patch into it. So some are gonna get called in here, but it's just the four of them, so we're all good to move on. to kill anyone here we're just gonna move right to the next section but I guess we can uh, do a couple of takedowns just avoid another one <laughs> this is one of the more intense shooting scenes right here system actually coming a little bit in handy there to help me not get shot. <laughs> So to end this level, usually the game wants you to, we gotta kill this guy right here, but 
luckily, right where he starts, there's a forklift with a little propane tank on the back. So, we wait for him to cross. And that's the level. Kill this guy if you want to. <laughs> So this is train, this is the longest opening cutscene, but you should be able to recognize some of the dialogue from the movie here. Every it's kinda nice. Train. This is a fun little level here. Um, we're just going all the way to the other end of the train. So, uh, of course, it's not going to be easy at all. Let's see if I can get lucky and get this guy to come up here. No. So I'm actually coming down here to pick up that weapon and then get right back up. Uh, that's just so I can use something other than the starting pistol in this next section right here. Yes, bullet holes before guns are being shot. There it is. Okay, that's a little unlucky there. No worries. So earlier I mentioned um, we have an FPS unlocker and for whatever reason some of the collision on this part of the train here is actually tied to your FPS. So shout out to Suing Machine, he was the maker of the like unlocker tool. He actually added a global hotkey for us so we can just enable and disable it on the fly. And now we're back to higher FPS. Hey, would this be a good time for a donation? Yeah, absolutely. All right. 
there's a $20 donation from Tupai with the message, Look at my buddy Vinny killing it. Thanks for the donations. Yes. yes, no, this is all for a great cause. I'm really excited to be here. And charity is always about this. <laughs> Who did I miss? There it is. Away. Um, in addition to the enemies, there are the lights up ahead. If we are, if we get knocked out by one of those, that's uh, pretty unfortunate. Good morning, everyone who is slightly tired. This is that's like one of the only times you actually get flashed in the game. at the end of train here just another one of the quick time event combat What a way to go. I have no intention of giving you the bonus. You can claim him yourself. Move. Just gonna walk slowly around these guys. There we go. Usually could would just go right through this, but I'm gonna play it a little safe and wait for this. Gotta turn his head. And I'm gonna blast the second one here. Don't see me, but that's okay. Something going on down there between two factions or something, I think. Thankfully, pretty much all enemies. Oh, okay, that's unfortunate. I uh, did not wait for those two guys to finish talking. One of them saw me, and now we're here. <laughs> A little 
little bit of time lost, but eh, another fight. Not too bad. That, that way reinforcements aren't actually called. No. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so for some reason we're we got another one of the unlocked door cutscenes, but this one is as easy as the first one. There's no fake outs and we only have to do four instead of six. Bullet. Lovely. <laughs> this is the ballroom fight. Got a couple of enemies on top, on the bottom, and then back down again there. Another weird thing is we can just open these doors for ourselves instead of letting these guys do that. And I'm gonna skip killing this guy and just okay, maybe I won't. <laughs> Usually we would just I would just run around him and get right into this cutscene. Uh, this is the only like ending cutscene. It actually that actually fully heals you before you get into it. So that was actually, I believe it is the last and longest hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat sequence there. <laughs> So this next level we just call it Casino Poison. Um, this is right from the movie, but uh, we also don't get a gun. Um, but the game does do quite some weird stuff with the camera. Um, we'll see here. A little bit of a, not necessarily an epileptic warning, but it's weird. <laughs> thing the game does do to kind of help simulate the hey you've been poisoned is uh kind of pushes you in random direction left or right constantly so i'm just i'm actually just spamming 
left and right on the keyboard to kind of hopefully counteract that. Phone timer in the top right. Again, there's another an issue. It's very generous. We played the game at least like once before. <laughs> Excuse me. Everyone's in your way during this, too. They don't know. <laughs> yeah, definitely a lovely night here. So we do actually have to cross this road, and if we get lucky, a car can actually push us towards our goal. No, I wouldn't recommend playing a real life Frogger, that's that not a good thing. Here we are. <laughs> Do you see the girl? I just got back to the bar. Let me know when she's below deck. Then we'll bring down Vaughn. Fine, let's keep your eyes. Sebastian's got him covered. Vaughn's not... Don't know about that, Sebastian. Uh, probably should have had at least two people in the car there. Okay, so right here we actually... Car trouble. You track better. Come on. There it goes. Um, we don't really care about any extra enemies, we're gonna come right up to this guy, grab his gun, and this door will shut right behind us. Oh, um, the game here does want you to use this rifle, but it only has like six bullets. So we're gonna use this, FRWL, which is from Russia with Love, that's the movie reference there. Instead of just being predictable, it, we just know exactly where the enemies are going to be coming from. So unfortunately, to start all over there. Third time's the charm, right?
is another one of those sections where you actually don't have to kill every single enemy. There are just extras that do spawn to kind of make it a little bit harder. Rush is to the end here. We do actually have to make sure to watch this, otherwise it won't actually fully continue. There we go. Alright, so coming up here, there's this gentleman that is going to open the door. He is invincible until that door is open. So what's really nice here is killing that guy um, doesn't give the door collision. Um, he actually has to close it himself for the door to gain collision. So we're able to just go right through it. Right. Okay. Gonna do another bit of a skip here if I can. Climb. There we go. So this is this whole area is called Barge, and we're actually whoop, able to get to the end of it by hopping up onto the wall and just walking past a couple shooting sequences again. And now we're at the end of the level. So walk over here, and there we are. <laughs> Shout out to my dad uh, staying up with me for a l almost 24 hours, it feels like now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're in the end stretch here. We got this in the one more level, I believe. <laughs> I gotta go. This is another good level to practice that uh, strafe jumping because you could actually catch up with Vesper here and actually just see her disappear completely when she rounds the corner. Again, just being able to line up enemies is such a big help. Able to kill him quickly and easily. Should do a couple more. Where are they? Hello? There he is. Just got open the gate. Goodbye. And unfortunately, it takes away our gun, so back to the slow movement speed.
actually just gonna walk past everyone here. Enough, do the same thing again. Beautiful. Right, I'm gonna just wait to regen some health. And I'm gonna toss a grenade to stun the guard behind here. Oh. Alright. Let's see you skip just a little bit if you can. Hit the right well. Not like that I won't be. <laughs> right, we will wait it out here. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, if I was able to stun this guy, I wouldn't have to just wait for this little cutscene to finish in the background here. up here we're actually going to be able to use the unique weapon that is used in this one area and nothing else. Um, however, it is used in online play. But, nail gun. Make sure you have your safety goggles on. Because he definitely did not. Alright, this is the final level of the game here. It is very lengthy. Um, and unfortunately, right at the start, it's super easy to get out of bounds. But it is not helpful at all. The game requires you to go and complete every fight you can in this before the end can even potentially trigger. Looks like we installed a bodyguard then. We can deal with Green. Just need Madonna to meet. Remember. And we are actually back to the end of Quantum of Solace now. We started with it, cut to Casino Royale, and now we're coming for a circle. Uh, the beginning out of bounds here is right here. I would just turn around and walk back out, but fortunately it is not helpful. This gun. And I'm actually on the hunt for a particular weapon that will be a little more helpful than the M14 here. Just take some cover. This guy has it. This is the A3 Raker. It is a lovely, lovely rifle. <laughs> ah. 
There it is. We're gonna have a little cutscene. The gate's gonna open up. Unfortunately, we can't do any damage to them, but we can uh, get them lined up in a nice little way here. And I like to do this. This uh, just kind of stuns them briefly. So we'll just get to line them all up and. Definitely gotta make sure to reload. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so the getting that A3 right there just makes this section a lot easier because this tiny M14 is it's a good weapon, but can get a little overwhelming. Another lock mini game here. Whoop! All right, you know what? I'll take missing just one of those. I'm afraid the corruption in this country can no longer be tolerated. Camille, I found your target. Madrona's in the hotel atrium. Alright, so the game here actually does something that I really like is this fire extinguishers on the ground. We're gonna shoot those and kind of make our way through this uh, kitchen here. Uh, of course, there will be a bunch of enemies shooting at us. Nothing that I don't think is even the handles. Again, this is another instance of I need to make sure I kill all three of these guys so they don't damage me during this cutscene. Even though it's so short, they would still very easily be able to take me out. <laughs> Fire to go away, and then we'll be coming up on the last room of the game.
these last two, uh, this last room here is very much not a joke. <laughs> and final unlock is a fake out. <laughs> is coming up soon here. And time. That's a PB. I am very happy with that. I'm surprised after the rough beginning. That's Quantum of Solace. It's a fun game. Uh, hour, hour and a half. Lovely. I'm glad I was able to do a showcase here, but uh, very happy with that time now. <laughs> Thank you guys, thank you everyone for uh, watch, tuning in, and um, we will get a nice little roll credits here. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the weird glare there. A lot of weird stuff has happened today while I was practicing, but we get to end with the uh, movie title soundtrack for the credits. Yeah, that's, that's Quantum Solace. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you all, all for sticking around for this. <laughs>